Your earlier hit held themes that were the norm for a female dancehall artist during that time. Where did the idea and the courage come from to start adding social commentary and social critique in your works? Man, from day one I started music, I always want to do, want to do social commentary. And all the other topics were just on the way too. Talking about what I really want to talk about. I want to talk about things, real things. Things that happen out there. So. You, think no man, you think any man alive or dead really have one, one penis when I'm that interested in when I want to talk 50 songs about him? No. <laughs> but you use it as, it's like gas station nowadays. Gas station don't make the money off of gas. The gas is what attracts the, 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 the motorists to come in, and then the supermarket with them on the back of the, the tank them, is what they really make their money off of. Um, and that is what the, the, the topical, the, the current topics are for me. A way to catch people's attention because that's what people are into and then I go tell them what me into in the process. So we're going to talk about, of course we're going to say in order for this year. Well, that was even, that was more than just the, 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 the normal topic because back then I came and found women saying, I'm good, I'm good enough. And, you know, me can, me can take this man, me never, you know, nobody has said, damn, them man, they're not good enough for me. Uh, it was men saying them can last all night. And them have a libido way, unnaturally, um, unnaturally huge. And me come and say, that's not been my experience. I mean, at the time I was very young and not as experienced as now. I've done a lot of sampling since then and it's still the same. I, they're not as virile as them claim to be. It is inhuman. If you feel like no man can every night get up and last the whole night, what? First of all, it would suggest to me you don't have a job, which means I don't want to experience that with you. And second of all, what? <laughs> I can't hear the yeast coming from a mile. <laughs> I don't want to be a party to that. You know, and it, it, so it, was, it was fun taking on those topics and watching people eyebrow go up and watch them clutch them pearls and stuff. But talking about racism, classism, Talking about inequity, talking about the disenfranchising of vulnerable groups, and you know, talking about my being a girl and being told every time, yeah, you're a good fair girl. Stuff like that gets me going. You know, it really get me, it get me going. I want to talk about that in the music. Because the man they must say they love me so much, I want to tell them why I think I lie. It's a lie. Well, let me hear you say, man. 